Hi everyone! Welcome to the video ISTQP Foundation Level version 4.0 New Preparation Materials. In this video, we will look at what books and other materials you can use to study ISTQP theory. Let's start with the syllabus. This is the basic and main material for preparing for the exam. You can find it on the official ISTQP website, in the Materials for Download section. It is free and you can download a PDF version of it. For now, version 4.0 is the newest one. The syllabus is written by the authors of the test. It is the official literature for the exam preparation. The syllabus consists of six chapters. Each chapter is approximately 10 pages of content, which should be read and studied. In total, it is about 50-60 pages of content, which at first glance is not much. In fact, the syllabus is short notes for repeating the theory. And all of the content in it is theory, theory and theory again. Many terms, definitions, classifications, lists, tables and even more different theoretical constructions. The information in the syllabus is presented without visualizations, detailed explanations, diagrams and charts. This is not fiction, so most candidates cannot sit down and read the entire syllabus in one evening. In addition, it is required not only to read it, but to know most of the terms and terms by heart, to understand and even to use them in practice. Chapter 4 is the best example. It is necessary not only to know and remember, but also to understand how to use knowledge in practice. As you can see, there is only half a page of theory about one of the most straightforward test design techniques, decision table testing. It will take a couple of minutes to read half a page, but it is not so easy to understand. Unfortunately, there are no examples and explanations of the theory in practice in the syllabus. Test of practice for the syllabus theory. Learning and understanding decision table testing requires a lot of back and forth. You will have to read the theory. Then try to find the correct answer to the question. Most likely, you will struggle with that, so you will need to read the theory and the syllabus again. After a few such questions, you will understand the theory and be able to use it in practice. For now, enough has been said about the first and most important preparatory material, Certified Test of Foundation Level Syllabus version 4.0. Let's move to the next one. There are many keywords in the syllabus, more than a hundred. The meaning of all of them should be known and understood very well. There is ISTQB online glossary for this. There you can find the definitions for software quality and testing terms used in the ISTQB certification products. Whether you enter a keyword in the search, the result will display all terms that have this keyword in the title or definition. You can also click on the term that interests you and then a details page will open. On this page, you can check whether this keyboard has synonyms, which is very important. In the questions and answer options on the exam, very often synonyms are used, no keywords. The ISTQB questions are structured in such a way that due to not knowing one keyword, you won't be able to find the correct answer to the question. You can also click on this button and download the dictionary if you know that you will not have online access. A file will be downloaded to your device in which the keywords are sorted alphabetically, so they are easy to find. For now, enough has been said about the second preparatory material, ISTQB Online Glossary. Let's move on to the next one. The most complete, most convenient and just the best material for exam preparation is a book. Foundations of Software Testing ISTQB Certification, 4th edition. The book is written by the authors of the exam, but it has two flows. The first disadvantage is that you have to pay for it, and it's quite expensive. Therefore, the answer to the question of whether to buy a book or not depends on you. Most students pass the exam by reading only the syllabus, so we cannot say that you must buy the book. The book is very useful additional study material that will definitely increase the chances of passing the exam on the first try. The book will be very useful for such chapters as the fourth. As you can see, the book has 40 pages of valid material. The same chapter in the syllabus takes only 10 pages, which is very, very little. 
but the question is not only in the quantity of material, but also in its quality. For example, there is a paragraph in the syllabus, errors, defects, failures, and root causes. It contains only half a page of text. And on the exam, there will definitely be a question related to this paragraph, but there are no examples or detailed explanations of the differences between the terms and the syllabus. In a book, you may find two pages covering the same paragraph, but there will be several examples of defects, errors, and root causes, so the theory is better explained. There will also be various schemes, visualizations, and diagrams. The book is written more accessible and understandable. However, the book has another important flow. It is written for version 3.1 of 2018. As for now, there is no fifth edition. Most likely, it will be at the end of summer at the beginning of autumn. As we said earlier, 50 to 70% of the theory in version 4.0 of 2023 remained as it was in version 3.1 of 2018. Therefore, the book is quite relevant, but in our option, it is better to wait for the new edition. We have reviewed three main materials for ISTQB exam preparation. Two of them are mandatory and free. Certified Test of Financial Level Syllabus version 4.0, ISTQB Standard Glossary of Terms used in software testing. A link to them will be added to the material for the lecture. The third material is the book Foundations of Software Testing ISTQB Certification, 4th edition. Although the book is partly out of date, it is still a good resource for exam preparation. The book is quite expensive and is not known when there will be a fifth edition, so it's an optional material. We hope the video was useful for you. See you in the next lecture. So long.